Hi everyone, this is Jennifer Johnson with Hot Hardware and today we're going to take a look at the Droid Bionic Smartphone by Motorola. This smartphone is finally available through Verizon Wireless. I say finally because it seems like it's been a long wait. We initially saw this phone at CES in January, but it only recently began shipping. This is the thinnest 4G LTE smartphone from Verizon Wireless. It measures 10.99 millimeters thick. However, if you notice here, you can see that there's kind of a little bit of a lip back here on this back side. When you're in a 4G LTE coverage area, Verizon Wireless says you should get download speeds between 5 and 12 megabits per second and upload speeds of 2 to 5 megabits per second. Of course, we'll put these speeds to the test in our hands-on review. The Droid Bionic runs on Android 2.3.4 Gingerbread, which is the latest version of Android. The front of the device is covered by the 4.3 inch quarter high definition screen. What's special about this screen is that it uses a scratch resistant Corning Gorilla Glass, so it's a little bit more durable, hopefully it will help protect against scratches in your pocket. There's also a dual layer anti-reflective coating on the screen, so that's kind of handy as well. You can see that there's the touch sensitive buttons at the bottom. They provide haptic feedback when you press them, just um, you know, ever so slight vibration here. Of course you got your webcam up top. Taking a look a little bit more at the sides, you have your micro USB as well as your micro HDMI ports over here on the left. Your volume rocker on the right. Standard headset jack and power button. In the back of the phone, you have an 8 megapixel camera. This camera is capable of recording 1080p HD video, so that's kind of something special about the phone. Uh, if we pop off the back battery cover here, I'll take a look and show you. Um, I'll show you a little bit more. You have your 16 gig pre installed micro SD card as well as 16 gig of onboard storage so that's kind of handy and of course you can access the card without removing the battery. Taking a look at some of the applications you can see that the Droid Bionic does come with a few extra applications. Some of them are helpful, some of them you probably could stand to do without. Um, kind of just varies on how you use the phone. Um, as you can see, you have like Blockbuster, Amazon Kindle, um, City ID, Citrix. What else do we have here? NFL Mobile, My Verizon Mobile. Of course, here you got all your Vcast apps and tones and videos, etc. Um, VZ Navigator as well. One of the cool apps that comes preloaded on the phone is called Zumocast. And essentially what that does is it allows you to securely access your files on your PC without needing to upload or sync them with your phone. You can see here we'll just kind of tap through and look at um, some music here. And you can stream it from your computer to the phone. Sounds pretty good. We'll uh, load up our favorite website here, take a look at that as well. We're running over a 3G connection here, and you can see it loads fairly quickly. Looks like it defaulted to the mobile site, so we'll switch over to the full site here real quick. Do some pinch and zoom, see how fluid it is. Pretty good. And we'll do the standard rotation test. Looks pretty good. Of course, you can double tap as well. Now, this browser does support HTML5 as well as Flash within the browser, so that definitely is helpful. You can view the web in all of its glory. Like the Atrix, um, which is available through AT&T and also made by Motorola, you can dock the Bionic in a laptop dock and use it as a portable PC. It kind of just sets in behind, kind of sets in behind like that. Unfortunately, we don't have the dock to show you. 
um, but it would give you a 11.6 inch screen as well as a full keyboard. That's an accessory that's sold separately for about $300. There's other accessories such as an HD station and um, a few others available as well that are again sold separately. With the Droid Bionic, another uh, feature that if you choose to pay for it, you can enable uh, tethering and mobile hotspot settings. So you can use the Droid Bionic to share your 4G LTE signal or your 3G connection with up to five Wi-Fi enabled devices. This has been a look at the Motorola Droid Bionic smartphone from Verizon Wireless. Be sure to stop by our site for the full hands-on review. And thanks for stopping by.